like to visit? Could that have been? Keep coming. Oh, God, gonna... I can't hear you laughing. Not gonna let no one bring me down. No one bring me down. Did we win? Oh, how exciting! Did we win? How exciting! I could use a new pair of glasses. Can't imagine where you misplaced your old pair. Say, what do you think? I say, this pocket watch has someone's initials inscribed on it. Saved us. If you lose anything else, it's good to know we can purchase a replacement here. Line discrepancy detected nearby. Bye. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clear. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you did unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry? Yes, Inspector. The Needler, the spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen, famously deployed by Halcyon. 
Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Agreed. Helen's, I mean Ruth's killer, is still at large. Hardline discrepancy detected nearby. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Slug Light Underground don't like that much. He's trying so hard. It's actually kind of sad. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. What? No, my head feels great. And once I don't have six tongues, I'll tell you what I think of your slander. Now stop moving around so much. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I am high on a dream of time. Maybe this was all a bad idea. Hey, any chance we could reschedule? Yeah, maybe do this whole showdown business? Uh, never?
don't know what to make of Sublight Underground. Or Slug. This port seems real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the Groundbreaker. Hey, I saw your ship. Be unreliable. What do you want? Not so loud! How'd you know it was me? That's what the disguise is for. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kinda neato. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. There are many types of intelligence, Mr. Holcomb. For example, your, uh, expertise on the field. Your hack attack is nothing short of brilliant. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. He's saying he was drunk, Captain. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow. There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Mmm... I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Long story short, I got out of there. Ran like the Rangers were down by three and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I don't. All we did was talk, I swear. It's just... I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? Oh! 
Oh, you mean like in Against the Outlaw Kings? There's this scene where Agent Khan grabs a fella by the collar and really gives him what for. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty intense scene. All right, you can do this, Parvati. Just do what Agent Khan would do. Now you listen here, Birdie. You've been giving us the runabout and I don't much appreciate it. Miss Helen's killer is still out there and we got every intention of hunting him down. Whoa, you're... You're not going to do the part where Agent Khan pulls a pistol on the suspect, right? You'd best tell us what you know. Because if any more innocent people die, that's going to be on you. You understand me? Wait, more folks could die? You're joking. Law, I had no idea this was so big. Was that too much? It's a matter of other folks' lives, then. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. That sounds like a good idea. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. Sorry. Here you go, Inspector. Hopefully they make more sense to you. I couldn't make heads or tails of them. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said, being bright was Helen's thing. I know, I know that, but you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Hey, pal. Over hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little... The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Yeah, damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it.
Inspector. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Try not to feel too bad for him. Bertie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. I don't understand what it was that Helen saw in Bertie. Whatever it was, she seemed to trust him implicitly. He was always on his best behavior around her. Or he tried. I'm not a heartless man, Inspector. I know that losing Helen must have shaken Bertie to his core. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Bertie killed Helen? Ah, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. I'd hate to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. If you're through investigating Bertie, I recommend looking into Cedric Kincannon. He's been entirely too comfortable since we began this investigation. I don't trust Cedric when he's comfortable. 